The government has published its report into the collapse of MD Rover. The 850-page report, which has cost the taxpayer upwards of £16 million, has accused the so-called Phoenix Four of putting their personal gain ahead of the company's. Yeah, it was a very hard-hitting report uh, unveiled today. It's detailed in its criticisms of the Phoenix Four. Um, they, they, plus Kevin Howe, paid themselves £42 million. That's described as an unreasonably large amount. Uh, and that they didn't really take substantial risk. So very clear criticism of them in terms of how they rewarded themselves. Also, what it showed was a kind of highly complex group structure where money was moved around, liabilities were transferred to MG Rover Group, assets to the Phoenix Group, uh, and the, the directors moved money around to try and maximise benefits to themselves, actually. Now, that raises questions of how they got away with it and the fact that they could do that because of uh, the financial rules and procedures. And what it raises really is the need for improved corporate governance and better rules on accountability and financial disclosure. The Phoenix um, 4 described this as a whitewash. What's your response to that? Well, they would say that, wouldn't they? Ultimately, they were responsible for running the company. They set a clear strategy when they came in of getting back into profit, developing a new model and finding a partner. They failed on all three counts. Now, it was a hugely difficult challenge. They kept production going for five years. That brought benefits to the region. But ultimately, they're responsible for the failure of the company. And what do you think the workers will get out of this? Hopefully, workers will get closure out of this in the sense that it says something, the report, about why the firm failed, about how much the Phoenix Hall paid themselves, the complicated group structure. I think if there are recommendations for reform of corporate governance to make things more accountable and transparent, then that would be very helpful. And finally, hopefully, it clears the way now for a payment into the Workers' Trust Fund. The Phoenix Hall have been holding that up for years. They can now make that money available and need to get on with it. Um, well, actually, I think there is one or two things about the government's involvement, actually. Um, I've only looked at the conclusion, but there are various things in there about the government's role. As I understand it, what the inspectors say is that the government was uh, prepared to make available a bridging loan to um, MG Rover um, to do the deal with um, Shanghai Automotive in 2005. But it was a bridging loan. There had to be a deal to be done. And it was as a result of the deal not being done that the loan could never be paid. Um, so there are things said about the government in there. Um, the Phoenix Four seem to be upset that it doesn't criticise the government. Well, they can be upset about that if they want, but I think rather more important for them to do is to answer the charges that are made against them. The workers have lost out. Some people have become very wealthy. It's like they've won the lottery. But the ones that are lost out to the vast majority... And it seems to be it's always the workers and their families that lose out in this country.